Hello, I'm Matt, the Lighting Projection Supervisor at the Rose Theatre. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about lights. Everybody's familiar with the finished product, the show on stage. Uh, in these pictures we see from the Rose Theatre's production of Curious George and the Golden Meatball a variety of different lighting looks. But a question that often comes up is how do we get here and what goes into creating these moments? First, let's talk about the team behind the lighting. I'm the lighting and projection supervisor at the theater. I oversee all things lighting and help bring designs from concept to reality. I work directly with the lighting designer. In the case of Curious George, that was also me. The lighting designer's role is to use lighting to help tell a story. They decide which lighting fixtures to use, where they go, and when to use them. The information is communicated in a few different ways. The light plot, which tells the rest of the team where the lights should go, the light cues. These are the light looks on stage, which lights are on and off in a given moment. These are programmed into the lighting console. But before the cues can be written, the master electrician comes into play. Their role is to lead the lighting crew in safely hanging all of the lights that the designer drew on the light plot. At the Rose Theater, this is traditionally the job of our lighting apprentice. They also take on the role of teacher. They get to train all of the electricians on the correct, safe practices for getting the lights hung. Which brings us to the last position in the lighting team, the electrician. The electrician, in a theatrical setting, is the person who does the heavy lifting. They get to hang and focus all of the lights under the direction of the master electrician to execute the plot as designed by the lighting designer. So once all of the lights are hung in their correct position, they need to be focused. Focus, in its simplest form, is determining where the lights are pointed, the shape of the light, and what the beam should look like. Let's take a look at these concepts in a video. Alright, let's look at these concepts in practice really quick. First, we'll take this light and let's look at the position. Let's say we want the position of the focus to be on the wall. And then once we have our position determined, let's use our shutters and determine the shape of the fixture. In this case, let's make it a rhombus. Once we've determined the shape, we can decide how we want the edge of the beam. So first, let's soften it. And let's say that this isn't quite what we're looking for, so let's try and soften it a different way. And let's go back to our original hard edge. And then let's look at this beam with some different color options in it. Now that we have a general understanding of how the lights get hung and focused, let's talk about cues. A cue is one fixed lighting look. Every time the lights change is a different cue. This here is the paper version of the cue list for Curious George and the Golden Meatball. This is the document a lighting designer could generate to use as a reference tool when they are generating the light cues in the console. Now let's go ahead and take a look at what these cues look like in the console. The first thing that we'll see here is the lighting cue list in the console. Now you'll see that we've moved on to a different production here, and this is the lighting cue list from the Rose Theatre production of Howie D back in the day. We're going to move on to another view here in the console, and each one of these tombstones represents a different lighting fixture. You'll see that as the cues progress, changes apply to many different fixtures at one time. Let's take a look at what happens when these cues change in the console side by side with what happens on the stage using the Rose Theatre's production of Howie D back in the day. All right, so we see here we have Howie on stage and the other actors enter to speak with him. So here in just a moment, we'll take our next light cue. And as the light cue executes, we'll see that the transition happens both in the console and simultaneously on stage. And as Howie crosses downstage here, we'll see that another cue executes. And a moment later, another cue is going to execute to add light for the players to enter. Now that we have a general idea of the relationship between the cues and the console and what happens on stage, let's review. 
the lighting designer generates a plot. The master electrician leads the electricians in hanging the light plot. And the lighting designer guides the electricians in focusing the light plot. The lighting designer writes cues for every time the lighting changes on stage during the show. And the end result, where we began our journey, is the lighting design that we see on stage. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments or contact the Rose Theatre via our website. Thanks!